thank her for being patient, and I also want to thank you for sharing your Saturday with us. This is a whole new record in a lot of years for a summer AEW meeting. I think we're at, right at 90. So give yourselves a hand for taking your Saturday. There are two pieces of paper in this avalanche that you have that you're going to need right now. One is the pink sheet with a Romery pen, thank you, Deb, uh, which is the agenda, and it's not that short. Turn it over on the back. <laughs> but Deb wanted to leave lots of room for you on purpose. This is for you to collect any information, and there'll be a lot of it today, that you need to take back to your branch, you need for your own personal use, you need to share important AEW information when you're recruiting members. And we'll let Heidi take care of that this afternoon. We have a formal business meeting that we need to take care of and I need for everybody to be patient because it's going to move very, very quickly. So I hereby call Indiana AUW business meeting to order. Yes, and I do have my gavel. Um, Sharon Langlock, would you come forward, please? The other piece of paper that you need is a two-sided white sheet that says Proposed Indiana Public Policy Agenda 2009-2011. We are dealing with the front side of this page at this time only. Um, we were not able to do this part of uh, our business at our state convention because the association had just come out with their proposed agenda. It was not finalized until the national convention at the end of June in St. Louis. And we felt that it would be redundant for us to adopt the policy in April and then change it in June. So this is our proposed two-year 09-11 um, public policy agenda. If you turn it over on the back, you'll see biennial action priorities. Um, these will not be voted on. This is a copy of what was accepted and, and passed at St. Louis Convention. This is, if you look at the first few words, it's biennial priorities for federal action. Those were voted in. Everything was updated in St. Louis, so we do not need to do anything. This is for every branch. It will be in our directory resource guide that you'll get this afternoon for every branch. This is to help program planning. In the next Indiana Bulletin, you will find that there will be an article talking about mission-based programming. And I am going to just editorialize for 20 seconds. We like to read books. We like book groups. We love them. We like to play bridge. We like to do crafts. And that's great. That is not what AUW is about. That's not why you're here today. And your, your programs in your branch need to reflect who AAW is in your community. So we're trying to make that as, as easy for you as possible. So if you go back to the front of your page, I have to read a script, and for those of you that know me, this is not my bag. The chair of the Legislative Program Committee of Indiana, Sharon Langlach, will now present the proposed legislative program for the coming biennium. This assembly today may amend this legislative program as each section is considered, and then the entire program will be adopted as presented or as amended. The legislative program is found on that white sheet, your handout, um, and it, it, the first, well, let me do it backwards. Every heading but the last three are national AEW agenda items. The last three headings have been proposed by input from branches and the Indiana Board of AEW directors.
On behalf of the Legislative Program Committee, I move the adoption of the State Legislative Program. I'm going to read, I'm sorry to have to read these to you, but we'll go through it as quickly as possible. 